30 meses que... The Infinite Inside may not be releasing on Quest officially until this spring, but there is already a free playable demo on App Lab, and this demo has near a 5 star rating. This is a game that blends mixed reality and virtual reality together where you're walking around inside of your space in your home. I highly recommend Room Scale for that. You're walking around virtual puzzles and objects that you're able to look at, and then you step inside of the puzzle in virtual reality to continue finding the puzzle pieces. Between beautiful music, beautiful environments, and some intriguing storytelling, I found this to be a very beautiful demo and apparently about 50 other people have so far with almost every single one of them giving it a perfect five star rating people saying this is taking risks it's doing something different than other games have done and it doesn't feel like just another take on another game people saying they can't wait for the full release and they'll pay whatever price the developer wants to charge and people bring up it was just a wonderfully designed experience after checking out the demo i've got to say there's just something strangely beautiful about it. i highly recommend you check out that demo and keep this on your watch list for when it actually comes out when stranger things vr was was first announced it quickly became a hotly anticipated title this puts you in the stranger things universe and it's supposedly finally launching this thursday february 22nd this takes you in the stranger things universe but gives you a unique perspective where you actually get to take on the side of the antagonist vecna and see how events of prior seasons actually happen from behind the scenes although this is highly anticipated i've got to be honest here i was really excited about this until i tried an early demo of it in new york granted between then and now this game was supposed to release recently after that and they pushed it out several months to work out bugs and work on the game more. So hopefully it's become a much better version of itself. But with that, we are only days away from Stranger Things VR launching. At a price of $30, there is a pre-order discount of 10%, although as I recommend on the channel, don't get pre-orders. With digital games, it's not like they're going to run out. And if you wait, afterwards, one of your friends who gets it, and if they like it, can give you a referral link to save you 25%. Anyways, there will be links down below to see the game pages on all these games in case you're interested in wishlisting them and watching them. And keep in mind, some of these dates can change rapidly as games do get delayed. Rock and Roots is set to launch on February 28th. This is an action adventure RPG game with a unique mechanic where on one hand you have tactical cards that you can summon in allies that have different abilities, but you also have your own magical capabilities and spells that you can use in combat. The game is a story driven game about two brothers pitted against each other and you have to fight your way through different levels to face the final boss and prove that you are the rightful owner of the throne. This is a game I've been looking forward to a while between the combat style and the graphics style that it's showing on it. Although the game is coming out at only $14.99, which makes me wonder if it's going to be less game than it looks like from the trailer. This does come from the developer Zokus, who has brought out multiple other VR games that have mostly positive ratings already on Steam, all in that same price range of about $14.99. So it gives me hope for the game that they know what they're doing with their experience. What do you think? What ones on this list have you excited little and looking forward to their releases? Let me know in the comments. If you're one of the nearly 3,000 people that helped Swarm 1 get almost a 5 star rating on the quest store then you're probably already aware that swarm 2 is supposed to be coming out on march 7th the original swarm game was advertised as spider-man with guns and it looks like swarm 2 is building even further on that in this roguelike shooter swarm is high flying fast paced and difficult this game has you with the grappling hook and pistols and you are able to maneuver around the map aerial explore go fast and you go up against bosses that are challenging that's true to pretty much anything in the roguelike genre the game has you unraveling the story through unique missions you're using shard tech to upgrade your skills as you go and although the game uses very fast grappling mechanics a lot of people said the way they did it it doesn't seem to make them sick whether you're a swarm one fan or you're just seeing this for the first time this is definitely something that might be worth checking out in march the pirate queen of forgotten legend is actually based on a real life pirate named cheng shi she was a 19th century pirate and commanded a fleet of over 70,000 through the south china sea this cinematic game actually says it has exploration throwing climbing rowing fishing and solving environmental puzzles and actually features lucy Liu from films like Kill Bill and Charlie's Angels. This is set for launch also on March 7th, but it sounds like we've actually secured an interview with Eloise Singer, the developer of this game at GDC this year, so watch out for that on the channel in the future. You might remember when Paint the Town Red took over YouTube a few years ago when the flat game released in 2021. A viral sensation, people loved the gameplay of it, and the rating on Steam is still overwhelmingly positive. Well, now that action is coming over to Quest on March 14th. This is a brutal brawler game with 
with very blocky graphics reminiscent of Minecraft, but it's a first person melee combat game. It takes you through different time periods in the world, different locations, where you can pick up pretty much anything and take out the enemies around you. The game promises multiple different modes from a roguelike campaign, an arena mode, and of course just endless mode where you survive as long as you can. Personally, I think it's going to be really fun to re-experience this game in VR. As a big fan of third person platformers like Astro Bot, Lucky's Tail, and even Moss, Max Mustard has me really excited that this is supposed to be coming out on March 21st. This is actually from the developers of Richie's Plank Experience. Max Mustard is an inventor pursuing a character named Stubbins. Stubbins has been kidnapping the baby mud pups and Max needs your help to rescue them. The game advertises it's going to have 40 levels and then there's going to be unique first person gadgets that you're going to be wielding as Max's helper. Similar to how if you ever played Astro Bot, Astro is a character you control but you are also a bigger being that can also assist him. The game is set to at a price of $30 to drop next month and it's going to be one of those games I'll definitely be getting day one. At this rate, it seems like we're eventually going to have a simulator for every possible mundane activity you can do in VR and Lawn Mowing Simulator VR is the next one in the series. This game has you doing just what it sounds like. You are out mowing lawns, whether you are riding the lawnmower, using the weed whacker, changing the height that you are going to be cutting the grass at. You are out trying to make the lawns look as good as possible, bringing in even some lawn mowers from real world licensed mower manufacturers. This looks to be another game where if you get tired of real life, you can jump into VR and do some mundane real life activities to somehow relax and feel satisfied. Dropping on March 21st at a price of $20. I think I've said enough. Don't pre-order. Watch for some discounts after the fact or get a referral link. Medieval Dynasty New Settlement is a new and upcoming VR game set to launch on March 28th. It is actually a VR spinoff of Medieval Dynasty, a flat game on Steam. It's been out for a couple years and has very positive ratings over on Steam. This game describes itself as blending sandbox, role-playing, simulation, and even exploration. And you're tasked with the challenge of founding and nurturing a settlement and then starting their dynasty there. For the survival and resource gathering fans, this game has me interested to see if it's going to stand up to games like Townsman that were very popular for a short while, but then people ultimately may have stepped away from them. Although with a very positive rating on Steam and all of their experience in game development, I am excited about what this one has to offer. The Nope Challenge unfortunately doesn't look like it's coming till April, but this game has me really excited. This is a game where you confront phobias, and it says including but not limited to clowns, spiders, and heights. The whole game is based on a nope button, which you can nope out at any time you want, allowing you to face your fears and get closer and closer to them before you inevitably nope out. This is designed to help you face these phobias, though, in an area that is safe enough that you can up the ante, let it get more extreme on you, and then leave when you feel like you need to. Whether you call this a game or a therapeutic tool, it's got me really curious for when this comes out, and this is one I'm watching for closely. I'd love to know in the comments, outside of Clown Spires and Heights, what are some of the other fears you think they're going to try to incorporate in there? I know that I found a few games that use closed spaces, claustrophobia, and other things that are really common phobias for people. That's a bunch of the games that are coming over the next few months that I've been excited and watching for closely. What are some that you're waiting for and hoping for? I'd love to know in the comments down below. This is a series a lot of you have been asking for. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I hope you enjoyed it today. Let me know what you think in the comments and if there's something more you'd like to see in them in the future, even in the formatting. Let me know. It's brand new. First one. But thank you once again for coming out and hanging out with me, and I'll see you in another reality.